most important tip that helped me lose the weight, maintain it easily, and also massively reduce my cravings for unhealthy foods. Lay down in my soul. Now when I feel weak, you say I'm okay. You saw me dress in diamonds. What we got is So we're starting this video with a pretty unpopular opinion. But I feel the need to talk about this because I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately and also on Instagram and TikTok. You see a lot of skinny and fit people talk about that you shouldn't restrict yourself and that you can eat whatever you want, basically. They say you can have dessert every day without restriction and still be healthy and happy. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I totally agree with this. Good morning and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I am Mona from Healthy Holy Life and if you don't know me from Insta or TikTok, I am 22 years old and I share healthy plant-based recipes and general lifestyle tips on my socials because I truly believe everybody deserves to live a more healthy, fulfilling life and if I can help with that, I totally will. Also, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments which other videos you would like to see and I'm thinking like what I eat in a week as a vegan or for weight loss or trying my own recipes and rating them because I think that will be fun and maybe also making healthier tree like healthier versions of your favorite treats I think that will be cool yeah just let me know also make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I have a super exciting announcement to make but for now let's dive right into the video and let's see what delicious food I'm going to make I'm excited but the reason why people are restricting, and maybe you if you clicked on this video, is because something went wrong in the first place. You most likely aren't happy with your body currently and you don't feel healthy and that's exactly why you are restricting yourself. So in this video I will share my tips how you can actually stop restricting, make peace with food, achieve your goals and find happiness. Because that's what we're all here for, right? So you're probably thinking, I really don't want to restrict but I don't see any other way to reach my goals and to be healthy and happy with my body. And that's exactly what I want to talk about. Because the actual reason why some people seem to be able to eat whatever they want and they will always stay slim, maybe even your best friend or family member or somebody you see on the internet stays really slim all the time and they seem to eat whatever they want. And no, it's not genetics or luck. Basically, 99% of the time, it is because they know the right portion sizes for their body. I call this a plum cheesecake toast and I made a similar version um, with like apple pie flavor um, like a week ago and I was so obsessed with it. I will post it on my Instagram. I don't know if it's up when this video is uploaded already, but I also made a tiramisu cheesecake version which you definitely have to try because that one was so good. My mom and I made it like three days in a row. So definitely try it. This is so flavorful. I am just obsessed. Like you have to try this and the crunch, it's the best. So I just finished my workout and showered and now it's time for lunch. It's already like 2 p.m. Um, which is when I usually have lunch, I guess. Um, like breakfast, I'm not hungry before like 9 or 10 a.m. So then like lunch is a little bit later, but that's that just what works for me. And usually I have like a big salad or a nourish bowl, like a oh, butter bowl, whatever you want to call it, like just a rent bunch of random stuff put into a bowl <laughs> and I think I'm going with a big salad today and also like adding some apple because I'm really craving apple I don't know why that really happens a lot after my workout I think because I want like something with a lot of water in it like something that contains lots of water because I'm a little bit dehydrated so yeah I guess that's why but we will see what I make it may be intuitively, like the friend who has been slim her whole life ever wondered why she suddenly puts down her burger saying she's full while you are wondering because you still want dessert. 
but it can also be because they train themselves to watch their portion, portion sizes, like that fitness influencer you watch, who has been on this weight journey for years. And yes, even if it's healthy food, you don't need to eat a bowl bigger than your head. It took me a while to realize this, but I saw massive changes when I started to do this. The second aspect, and this might not be true for every quote-unquote fit or skinny person, because you can be skinny but don't have to be healthy. And you can be healthy and don't have to be skinny. They usually have a healthy balance between meals and treats that they really enjoy and meals that nourish them with lots of veggies and greens. And if they have chocolate or something else, they don't eat the whole bar. They allow themselves to have a little bit of it each day. And that's exactly why they tell you that they don't feel the need to restrict themselves because they don't want the whole bar. salads are so underrated they add like the perfect hint of sweetness hmm. but what if you do if you want the whole bar if you've been restricting it seems impossible to eat just a small portion every single day because you just want the whole thing because you didn't allow yourself to have it it's just like if you tell somebody don't press the red button and all you can think of is pressing the red button. That's just how our mind works. And that's exactly what should be your main focus. Finding the right portion size for your body and not completely cutting out things out of your diet because that will get you nowhere in the long term. But now you're probably thinking, but how do I actually do it? How do you not restrict yourself and still reach your goals? My best advice would be to Pick the healthier option whenever possible, but don't stress yourself out about it. Please, this is so important and I learned this over the years. Because you don't want to be the person when like you're invited to a party and your friends order pizza and you're really excited for it, but last minute you cancel just because you're scared of the food, like quote unquote unhealthy food and you don't want to eat it because you're on a diet. But like, let's be real, you don't want to be that person, you want to enjoy everything in moderation and make peace with food. And I used to be so scared when somebody else prepped the, my food for me, or if like my mom and my dad like cooked for me, or like just eating out in general because I didn't know what was inside it. I don't stress about eating out anymore because I learned to trust my body again, which is exactly what you should be aiming for. because. I know what you're probably thinking, I mean, you think I did trust my body in the past and um, it led me to where I am right now and right now I am unhappy with my body, so what's the whole point? But can you actually confirm that you only ate when you were hungry, that you listened to your hunger cues, that you didn't eat out of like emotional reasons or something like that and that you like actually stopped when you were full instead of feeling the need to always finish your plate? Yeah. Probably not. Our bodies are so accurate at measuring how much calories and fuel we actually need that it, I think it's even more accurate than like calorie counter, which is just based on estimates. And um, also calorie, I did calorie counting in the past and it really helped my mental health. And um, if you want me to do a video about it on how to stop, because I just posted a reel um, about how to stop and got a lot of questions about it. Um, so let me know if I should do a video about it. And yeah. So whenever you're asking somebody like a skinny or fit person how they lost the weight, um, they, it always comes up to eating healthy and exercise, which is exactly what we're talking about now. Um, because but in my opinion, which is another unpopular opinion, I think, um, you should always focus on your nutrition first and then when you're like um, fine with that or when you're comfortable with that, um, then you should introduce exercise. And when I'm talking about using exercise for weight loss, 
um, I don't mean you have to like weight lift um, five times a week for like an hour um, or like two hours um, but if that works for you then do it it's great but um, in my opinion um, it didn't work for me because um, I could do like jog on a treadmill for like 10 minutes um, and then eat an apple afterwards and it would totally equal out just based on the calories um, which is crazy in my opinion so I don't use exercise as a way to put me in a calorie deficit anymore instead I focus on my nutrition and use my nutrition to put me in a calorie deficit and then I introduce exercise on top of this in just in order to make me feel good to like move my body and get my heart rate up and just to feel amazing because when you don't feel the need to exercise to burn calories off, you can actually do exercises that you actually enjoy and move in a way you enjoy. And that makes you much more likely to actually stick with it, which is the main goal. And um, obviously this does not apply if your main focus is to build muscle, because then you have to do specific training, especially with heavy weights to stimulate that muscle. And um, I did like heavy weightlifting for like four years in the past and I even had a personal trainer in the beginning which really helped me to like get into it and to learn about the correct form and exercises and if like my main goal is currently not to build more muscle because I'm satisfied with the amount of muscle I have and I just want to lose a little bit of fat but if you want another video about how to actually build muscle I can totally talk about this too and this is my most important tip that helped me lose the weight, maintain it easily, and also massively reduce my cravings for unhealthy foods. So my most important tip is to care about what is in your food. And I'm not only talking carbs, protein, fats, so your macros. I mean also care if you are giving your body enough micronutrients, antioxidants, and vitamins. Get educated on how it affects your body and what a balanced, healthy diet should look like. You might be surprised because, let me tell you, a whey protein shake with flavor drops for breakfast and chicken, white rice and broccoli for dinner is not what I consider a healthy, balanced meal. In my opinion, the best way to fuel your body properly is to focus on a plant-based diet full of veggies, fruits, legumes, seeds, and by giving your body all it needs, your intense cravings for certain foods will decrease by a lot and you will feel satisfied and amazing inside and out. It is time for dinner and I don't think I have ever made something like this before or ever seen something like this. But I had this idea in my mind for like the last two days and I finally wanted to try it. And I wanted to make savory oats with like a pad thai kind of thing so like with veggies in it and like a creamy peanut sauce and i really hope it does taste well like it does in my mind but we will see if we talk about anything girl let's talk about us tasted it while cooking and I was honestly pretty impressed it turned out exactly how I imagined it and it's so creamy and oh you can't even see so creamy and it has protein from the chickpeas and has lots of veggies in it healthy fats from the natural peanut butter and the coconut uh, milk <laughs> yeah It's really good. You should try it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I will probably only have like a chai tea before going to bed and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know how you like this video and also let me know which other videos you would like to see and subscribe for lots more content. And also tag me on Instagram if you try any of my recipes. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. And since I promised you a big announcement, I will be moving to LA, which is amazing and crazy at the same time. And if you don't know, I am from Germany and I am currently in university studying communication science. 
So I will do a semester abroad at CSU Long Beach in California starting mid of January, so in about three weeks. And that's why I started this YouTube channel before, so I can take you guys along as much as possible. And yeah, I'm excited. Bye, thank you. Baby, it's you and me. It's only you I see. Talk about us.